I'm Raymond, and welcome back to one of my tool and how-to videos. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to replace the blades on an angle grinder. In our case, we have a Hercules angle grinder, but this is pretty standard for most angle grinders. You're actually going to need this special tool right here that has two prongs that fit into these four holes on the uh, angle grinder. This is actually not, we didn't intend to do this video, but we were replacing the blades on this Seawalt saw. So go check out that video if you're interested. Uh, and we were replacing them with these uh, masonry blades. Come to find out, these are actually meant for angle grinders. So because of that, we have a reason to do a video on how to replace the blades on this. So again, this is pretty applicable to most angle grinders. Uh, in our case, we're just going to take our tool and simply Hold down this lock. So wait, so this spins freely right now, right? This lock here prevents it from spinning. And you want to make sure that that lock engages because it might not engage if it's not in the right position. You have to rotate the wheel until it depresses. You want to take your tool and compared to the Dewalt saw, the Dewalt saw is actually reverse threaded. Um, in our case, the angle grinder is normally threaded, which means to loosen it, you know, ready, tidy, lefty, loosey. It's the opposite for the Dewalt saw. So you want to take your tool and loosen it while making sure that's locked. Okay. And so once it's initially loosened, you can just hand loosen it. Here's the cap. Supposedly, it's supposed to be able to be flipped up and down depending on the blade size that you're using. So in our case, remember that this raised part was facing us. Okay. So now we can take out the blade. And you know, we can use proprietary blades, like we have a Hercules replacement blade right here. Or you can use other similar diameter blades that have the same inner diameter. In our case, I think our Dewalt blade comes with an adapter on the back. Maybe it might be used for other angle grinders that have a different diameter. In our case, I believe it's a uh, 7 8 inch diameter hole. Okay. While I'm here, I'll demonstrate that this cap here does flip based on if you have a thicker blade. So we don't have a thicker blade right now, but let's use this as an approximation. So that's three blades thick. If I put it down now, if I flip this over, you know, it goes on simply like this. Oh. And that's supposed to be used with the more thicker blades, you know, for, for um, sanding or grinding. Um, I was originally going to use this one, but this one also has a thin thickness. But anyway, let me take that out. Where'd my... With the normal angle, angle grinder blades, the orientation that you insert them in doesn't matter. And this is because as you can tell from the blades, you know, they don't have a, a cutting direction. And in fact, there's no arrows on it that indicate so. With something like our masonry blade, however, you can see that there are arrows that indicate, oh, it should be spinning in this direction. So you want to locate that on your angle grinder. In our case, if we rotate around, there's an arrow right here that indicates it's spinning in this direction. It would be useless to say clockwise or counterclockwise because it changes depending on your orientation, but just remember that it spins outward. We want to use the same logic for our blade. Insert it, make sure that it fits nicely. and then take our cap and insert it. Okay, and once it's, you know, if you're, once you're able to spin the blade, then you wanna lock it. Okay, then you wanna turn it and fully tighten it. Okay, so, you know, usually I go for an eighth of a turn, but I could barely get even in like a 32 of a turn. As long as it's snug fit, as long as you put 
enough force, then it should be tight enough. So next you want to do is you want to plug this in and you want to test it out and test it on some scrap pieces to make sure that the blade doesn't dislodge. And that's how you install the blade on an angle grinder. Okay, so let's just do a quick test. Um, if you're interested in seeing how it's actually, this blade, this masonry blade is actually used on, you know, patio stone or cinder blocks, go check out my video on that. That's going to be uh, its own video. But for now, we're just going to test it. Just in case, you want to point it away from anyone in the area. And... We forgot to plug it in, so. Seems like it works pretty well. I'm not gonna cut anything so that you guys can be suspended so that you can come the next video. But that's how to replace the uh, weight on an angle grinder. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, leave a comment down below. Um, I'm Ayman, and today I showed you how to replace the angle grinder, in this case on a Hercules ang angle grinder with a Dewalt blade, but it works pretty much any uh, angle grinder. There might be some small differences, but this is generally the process for replacing the blade. Um, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and look at other videos on I and Ayman, especially our videos on you know, how to replace the blade on the Cirque saw, on the angle grind. Well, this is a video. Or how to use the uh, masonry blade to cut patio stone or cinder blocks, and I'll see you there. I don't think that's a how-to video, it's more like a demonstration. Uh, and also, we're doing a video on repairing our fences in the back, so go check that out if you're interested. And I'll see you there. But for now, I'm Ayman, and signing out.